Hi there, this is James from Social Intense, and today I'm going to show you how you can deploy a chat GPT powered live chat right to your website with OpenAI and Social Intense. There are two primary steps involved here. The first is to sign up uh, for an OpenAI uh, account and grab your API key. One thing to keep in mind is that you will have to add billing information to your OpenAI account to enable the chat GPT API and integrations. The next step is to register for a social intents free trial, um, and then we will add the open AI API key to the chatbot settings. So first, let's head over to platform.openai.com and either log in or sign up, click on your profile, and choose view API keys. We're going to create a new secret key that we'll use uh, in the chatbot settings in the next step here. Uh, so step Two is to sign up for a social intense free trial. Um, you have some options here. You can add the integration to Teams, Slack, Zoom, or WebEx. So if you have agents and you want to uh, escalate to humans um, within any of these platforms, you can register right here with those. Uh, for our example, we're just going to sign up with an email address. Um, sign up with my information. and start the free trial. Uh, in our case, uh, we're fine with just this default uh, live chat agent. And then um, we see that the live chat application is ready to go. This code snippet will be the code snippet you would deploy to your website when you're ready to enable the chat GPT powered live chat. Uh, so finally, what we're gonna do is go into our chatbot settings here They're in the live chat widget and the chatbot settings will be the, the third tab over, and we'll enable the chatbot. We're gonna select the chat GPT option for the chatbot type. We want the chat to always answer with no agents involved. And now we're gonna set up some of the um, default model information. So we're gonna use the, the latest uh, GPT 3.5 model here. Um, we will put it in the open AI API key that we copied from the uh, account on uh, step one. Um, and then we're going to put in some default welcome information for the chat bot. So we'll have here, uh, we'll just say, hey, this is a demo bot. Here are some things you can say. Um, and one of, them, one of them will be talk to an agent. And so you have the option to um, you have the option to trigger an escalation to your human agents using um, key phrases. So in our case, we'll say talk to an agent, and then we'll set up a, a, a trigger phrase for the escalation um, as talk to an agent, just a wild card. And then right now, as far as training goes, um, you can do a default system message in the chat GPT API. We're just going to copy in this information here and save it. So at this point, our uh, live chat is enabled with ChatGPT, um, and then we can deploy it to our website. Um, as far as the install code, uh, you can copy it here, and then we had it in the last step, and you would just deploy this uh, code snippet to your website to enable the chat. Uh, for now, we can preview the chat. Um, so this is what the live chat widget will look like on this website by default. You can collect information. You can determine uh, what pre-sales information you want to collect. You can customize the logo, the colors, the text. You can gather additional uh, pre-sales information um, that you'll gather on each chat. So let's just test out the chat. And so we'll do this initial question that will be sat, sent into um, uh, the chat integration. So we'll see this is our this is uh, our default welcome message, the default chips, the quick chips that we uh, set up. And then um, we will send this uh, initial question to Ch chat GPT. So this is the first response from chat GPT. So you can do anything. Um, you can ask any questions um, that you would normally ask uh, to chat GPT. I could say, uh, what's one plus one? And we'll get a response uh, via the ChatGPT API. 
Um, so the other interesting thing we can do here is then we can uh, select talk to an agent, which is our trigger phrase that we set up um, that uh, will allow us to escalate um, the, the chat to an agent. So at this point, we dropped ChatGPT out of the chat and we invited in a live chat agent. Um, so if you set up Teams or Slack, you'd get a notification um, in those clients and you could answer, um, your, your human agents can answer right there. Um, or, you know, for our case, uh, we would answer in uh, the live chat console here um, uh, to, uh, to answer the chats. So that's it. Um, if you need more information, you can visit us at socialintense.com and uh, we look forward to working with you.